So what's it like using a 52 volt battery on the Super 73 Z1? I hit 38 miles per hour. That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today, we're gonna check out Brick Lithium's 52 volt, 20 amp hour battery for the Super 73 Z1. Previously, we were using a generic 48 volt eBay battery that claimed 20 amp hours, but in reality, was closer to 13 amp hours. We'll talk about the power, the speed, and range of Brick Lithium's battery, then test it out on the road. So let's get to it. So why would you want 52 volts and 20 amp hours on the Super 73 Z1? Well, basically that means a massive 1,040 watt hours, which is good for about 50 plus miles of range depending on weight and terrain. Since our upgraded controller can theoretically handle up to 60 volts, using this battery shouldn't be an issue, but it remains to be seen. Okay, so we got a new package in the mail, a new battery for the Super 73 Z1. Fresh from Honolulu, Hawaii. Ooh, okay, so <laughs> here's our new battery. Uh, this is from Frank at Brick Lithium. Now I've been talking to Frank for a while. He's been building batteries for the Z1 for quite some time. And he's been making some really interesting packs. There's a huge community of Z1 owners in Hawaii. All of those guys are making some really awesome custom jobs. Ah, I didn't even know he... So he sent this uh, molly bag. Okay, so let's open up the bag. Check out what's inside. We have a XT60 extender. So here it is, the Brick Lithium 52 volt 4S4P 20 amp hour. And so this is his Molly concept. This is something that we can mount on our DIY tactical Molly panel that we built for the Z1. So from what I understand, the cells in this pack are rated for 5,000 milliamp hours with 15 amp discharge. It is a heavy pack, but it'll definitely fit underneath the bike. Whatever BMS he's using seems to be pretty robust uh, because it sticks out. <laughs> the controller is rated for 36 to 48 volts in the description, but it can handle 60 volts. At least that's what we're hoping. Before we ride, let's talk about the specs. The battery is about nine and a half inches long by six inches wide by three inches high with a weight of about 10 pounds. The pack uses one of the most sought after cells on the market, which is the Tesla Model 3 2170 cell with a 5,000 milliamp hour capacity. Brick Lithium sources Model 3 cells from salvaged, never cycled assembly modules. The connections use a standard XT60 connector and a DC port. As far as the charger goes, we're using a basic 52 volt charger from Amazon that features overcurrent protection and an internal fan. So now that we've covered the specs, let's mount it to the Z1. Okay, now we're gonna mount the 52 volt brick lithium battery on the Super 73 Z1. If you remember our last video, we created this custom DIY Molly panel. So we've mounted this Molly bag onto the Molly panel. If you look on this side, all the straps are secured here. I've also reinforced it with a few straps on the bottom and some more zip ties. So it's, it's definitely on there. So next we'll put the battery into the bag. It's definitely a tight fit, which is good. That's what you want. On the inside of the seat, you'll see that the 48 volt battery is gone. And we actually included an extension cable, an XT60 extension cable from the controller into the battery since it's now mounted inside of the frame. I have been told that the controller should probably be mounted on the outside just to avoid any overheating issues. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. For now, I think we'll be okay as long as we ride conservatively. The extension cable has this cable cover on it. This is good enough for now. So now we're gonna take it out for its first ride. We'll see how the 52 volt battery works with the controller and just kind of get acclimated to the settings and see how it feels. All of the settings on the controller are still the same as when I had the 48 volt battery. But um, right now my reading says it's at 58 volts. Let's try it out. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, so right away I noticed that there's definitely more punch in the bike. Uh, there's just higher acceleration. It's definitely faster. It feels really fast. So my readings are a little bit off on the controller, but um, yeah, it just it just has just more more punch to it. It's smoother. Um, the battery doesn't feel like it's sagging at all, so the voltage is pretty straight and steady. Yeah, it just it, it's a subtle difference. It's not like going from 36 volt to 48 volt, uh, but you do notice just just smoother power on the top end and even on the startup torque. Yeah, first impressions are that this battery is pretty solid. Just the cells are just really good. Um, you know, hopefully the, hopefully the controller and the motor will handle this battery, but uh, I, I like it so far. And even the weight isn't, isn't too bad. It, um, it's distributed on the bottom of the seat. Uh, so, I still have the same kind of center of gravity um, when the battery was mounted on the back. Now let's take Brick Lithium's 52 volt battery out on the streets. So as far as power goes, torque and throttle response is stronger than the 48 volt battery that I was using from eBay. You can really feel it immediately when you hit the throttle. There's just a little bit more um, punch to it. The acceleration is faster, there's better top end, right? There's better torque. And just overall, there's a smoother response. So you don't feel any voltage sag that you would get from the lower quality cells. So I think the, the response is really good and I think that's due to the, um, the Tesla 3 uh, 2170 cells that are included in this pack. Okay, here I am calibrating my phone GPS. I have the speedometer app and I'm calibrating it to my GoPro Fusion. So now that that's calibrated, I should have some accurate readings for my top speed. Now I haven't really changed the stock controller too much, but I think it's pretty accurate to the phone GPS. It might be one mile per hour off but I will eventually go into the settings to fix that. So this is a road I like to do my speed runs on because it's pretty clear, not a lot of traffic. So I'm just waiting for these cars to pass by. So I have enough space to do the top speed run. There is a car ahead of me. I'm just waiting for it to kind of get further ahead so I have more space. Now that I have no space, I'm getting into a bit of a tuck. And here's the full speed run. I am going slightly downhill, so I am getting higher speeds. I hit 38 miles per hour. If I wasn't going downhill and I was just on flat ground, I think I would have hit maybe 31, 32, something like that. But with my weight, hitting 38 on a slight downhill is pretty good. Now, one thing to remember is that riding full throttle can overheat the controller, um, which is why a lot of people recommend mounting the controller outside so that the wind kind of cools down the controller as you're picking up speed. Now, going up this hill, I am noticing some slight cutoffs, right? Um, the controller is really hot, and so it is giving me these, these small cutoffs that I'm able to kind of regain my throttle after I let it go for a bit. So it hasn't completely shut off, but it is 
it is kind of cutting off here and there. So that's one thing that I'll, I'll definitely have to do is mount the controller on the outside. Now let's talk a little bit about range. Okay, so the 48 volt eBay battery that I originally had was listed as 20 amp hours. But after some testing and a few people who have bought the same battery on eBay, we're thinking it's probably closer to 13 amp hours, which is not a lot and is definitely um, mislabeled on eBay, as we already knew. Now, the Brick Lithium is a true 20 amp hour battery, so it can give you 50 plus miles on a single charge. However, if you weigh under 175 pounds, like myself, um, you will get more range. So if I had to guess, if I was riding conservatively, if I wasn't going full throttle, like, you know, what I just did, or um, going on a lot of inclines, I definitely think I can get, um, you know, over 50 miles easily. But I haven't really had any need to go that far ever. It just means that I wouldn't have to charge it as much. So overall, we're really impressed with the quality of Brick Lithium's 52 volt battery. Even though we might eventually need to upgrade the controller and maybe even the motor to keep up with this battery. Frank, the owner of Brick Lithium, has been a key fixture in the Super 73 Z1 scene out in Hawaii. He provides custom power options using efficient, cost-effective, and creative solutions. It's really clear that the guy just loves building batteries, and it shows. Supporting the DIY community is something we've always done at Run Playback, so if you're looking for a quality DIY battery builder who doesn't cut corners, Brick Lithium is a solid recommend. If you want to dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you find tech deals that fit your lifestyle. I'll see you guys in the next video.